All right, so we're back at the boat shed and we're gonna do number two of my top five favorite paddle craft and that is the North Star Polaris. We're gonna go out with the family today. So we've actually been homeschooling the past six months since we've been here. So we try to use little outdoor adventures as a, <laughs> as a way to uh, do, do our science, uh, get the kids' imaginations going, find things that we can learn more about, like an open-ended thing that we do. And the canoe is just a great way to get out in nature, explore, find something to get curious about and do some research. You ready to go paddling, Jack? Uh, yeah. Take a look at our canoe here. This is the North Star Polaris. This is our smallest, narrowest tandem. If you look at the side, it's got a bit of tumble home, which means it curves up on the side. It's got a nice high shoulder. Again, they carry that volume all the way up to the edge. So this boat can be heeled way, way over and still feel real stable. You'll also see I have it set up with a kneeling seat, which means I can paddle it from the center position as a single and just kneel on that little thwart. And uh, yeah, this is sort of our do-it-all family wagon. This is probably the most used canoe in the fleet. <laughs> like that? Yeah, Something like that. All right. So this is the E6 carbon layup, and we got it with the carbon trim. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful and incredibly, incredibly stiff. And on the E6 carbon layup, they actually do this kind of a burled wood uh, thwarts that I think just looks super, super good. Just set off the whole look of the boat. Right? That is a sweet looking canoe. And today, there's the crew. We're all gonna go out and do some science experiments. We're gonna try to figure out what these trout are biting on out here. So me and Ken's are gonna take the North one solo. Ashley's gonna take the boys and she's gonna be paddling the Polaris. What I like about the Polaris, you guys, is the fact that it's a fast tandem. It's a fairly narrow tandem. It's a boat that you can paddle solo, you can paddle tandem, or you can even fit three in there like we're doing today. Getting all suited up. I wanna introduce you to the neighborhood dogs. This is Luna. Hi, baby. And then Buckaroo over there. He's a big, great Pyrenees. Both these dogs are sort of like feral. They just sort of wander in the neighborhood. Hey boy, you're a good dog, huh? Yes, you're a good dog. You're a good big old man. Can you hop in front of mom over there? Careful. All right, last but not least, keeping his feet dry, nice work. All right, you guys are off. The Polaris. You guys gonna make a dance for us today? And I'm a lucky guy because I get to paddle with this girl. You going to be my camera girl today and film everything? All right, this is Kinsey. We're going to take the solo and she's just going to hop right here and right up front. All right, see you later, Buck. Oh, Jack's going to tip him over. <laughs> yeah, splash him down. That'll teach him. Hey, Loon. Oh yeah, it's all full of water. What? It's all full of water. The holy fisherman. Looks more like the holy fisherman, if you ask me. Ha, <laughs> ha, right? It's a dad joke. There you go. Draw stroke, there you go. Now sink that paddle a little deeper in the water, Ethan. He's doing what we call a sculling draw there. Feeling the water. You're feeling it with the very tip. I want you to sink that whole paddle down in the water. There you go. Might be easier if you're sitting down, huh? All right, Ken's is a tour guide now. Switch sides, switch hand positions too. There you go. And then this guy, Luna keeps following us around everywhere we go. <laughs> she swam all the way out here. Crazy dog. All right, we're back here looking for bugs in the Battle Creek arm. And we picked up a hitchhiker. She swam out to meet us. So now I've got a wet dog in my lap. <laughs> Oh well, it's part of, all part of the adventure. Uh, e Ethan had a good eye. He just spotted these caddisflies growing. Look at that, on this old abandoned spool. So caddisfly larvae, right? Because they haven't hatched and emerged yet. Yeah. But, and web them together. The web is super strong, so it'll keep them protected. Yeah, they use their spit, I believe. Oh, spit? Is that what it is? And it has a stickiness to it. And then they grab little rocks and make a little cocoon for themselves. Pretty cool, huh, Kins? Mm -hmm. All right, we found one. Look at that little guy right there. Whoa, we found one! 
All right, so what do you think trout eat, Ken? What do the fish out here eat? Birds. Probably, right? So when we see the fish jump and hit the surface, they're coming up and eating these bugs that are hatching on the water. Well, you probably won't be able to see it, but up overhead here, there's a whole flock of sandhill cranes coming in. Back to the launch. An hour out there is about all we can handle. That was uh, chilly. Like I said, I got a nice wet dog spot. Pretty windy, but hey, we got out. Supposed to snow again for the next two days. We really wanted to get out and play, so. Mission accomplished, right, Ken? Yeah. All right, that's enough whistling, you guys. Okay. All right, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. I don't know if I've ever formally introduced my <laughs> wife to the channel. It's my bride, Ashley. Hi. Ethan. <laughs> like a little Stolquist advertisement right here. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for watching. We enjoyed paddling with you. Hopefully, wherever you're at, you're safe, you're secure, you're staying away from others. And uh, we'll get through this soon. Until next time, this is Arbuckles wishing you... Happy paddling. Happy paddling. See you on the next one.